Julie, you know when those youngsters were singing, I got snow all over. <laughs> when those youngsters were singing, I was thinking to myself, you know, Christmases that leave a tremendous imprint in your memory. And I think the one that I remember best is one in Portchester, New York. It was quite a long time ago, and I was going to pump the organ at midnight mass for my sister Helen. And perhaps it was because midnight, and perhaps because the snow was so clean, or perhaps because the bell sounded so silvery. Probably it was because I was going to get 25 cents for pumping the organ. <laughs> I never forgot that uh, particular Christmas. Do you Christmas? remember any? Well, Christmas, I don't remember a particular one, but just all of the Christmases when I was a kid were so wonderful because you waited for them so long and with such excitement and breathless. surprises and mystery and everything. Well, what did you do on New Year's Christmas? Well, sometimes uh, we always trimmed a tree and sometimes we read uh, Dickens' Christmas Carol. We always uh, read from a book or recited the uh, night before Christmas. I remember, I remember that forward. one. I remember that one. Um, the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But from there on, I'm a dead pigeon. <laughs> you used to say the whole thing? Well, we used to say it and say it and say it and every Christmas until I guess I memorized it by heart. You know the whole poem? From beginning to end. Julie, I know you are a camera <laughs> of recent issues. I dare you to say the whole the whole poem. Okay. Huh? And I'm wishing you luck. I'm not going to bet against you. It was the night before Christmas. I think. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. And Mama on her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. And out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shut shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. The little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his course as they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetops the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little roof. As I pulled in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. And his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. But a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He went, spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod. Up the chimney he rose, he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Wonderful. Wonderful.